Doctors at Makindu Subcounty Hospital in Makwini County have done a total knee replacement on a woman suffering from severe arthritis in a delicate operation. The patient, Riley Mbula, has been suffering from severe arthritis, which defied normal medication according to doctors. She was booked into the hospital last week after her condition wasn't. The patient is recuperating well. She said that she cannot wait to walk again. Her husband's son, Julius Kivala, said that the operation caused the family only the metallic implant. This is because their mother has been covered by the county's healthcare scheme. Papa. Missouri. Ata ni na endelea utembea. Na ile. Iyo na kabu. Ha? Aha. Na utembea. Kulikuwa na utembea. Kuma ulikuwa. Kuma anda na maa. Kulikuwa ulikuwa na utembea. Bel. Belen, ah, nanda, ibal, mhm, idogo tu, nanda na mna i, mhm, lima, na hende matungo, ah, na kufunga ngombe, kio tu, mhm. Atati. Ha? Nasikia vizuri. Inaendelea na huko na fuo. Utaka na fuo. Ha? Nyaka miwili tatu. Hivi. Last week, we did a, a surgery, total knee replacement, which is um, the first of its kind to be done in Makwene County. Um, basically, uh, it involved uh, treating a patient with uh, severe osteoarthritis of the knees, which is a disease that uh, causes severe pain on the knees and difficulties walking and performing activities of daily living uh, for the patient. And especially for this particular patient, um, there were also deformities of the knee. And the surgery um, usually entails um, correcting the deformity and um, replacing the damaged surfaces of the knee uh, with uh, um, metallic implants. Yeah, so we went to theater. Basically, the surgery takes about um, three hours. Uh, me being the lead surgeon together with uh, my assistants, two other doctors and um, the theatre staff of Makindo Subcounty Hospital Theatre. Yeah. So the patient actually is recovered very well. Um, she's in the ward and right now she's learning how to walk. She's being ambulated. Yeah, um, I find this a very good thing for Makwene County in that um, a surgery that wasn't affordable previously can be done in a facility like this. Uh, courtesy of uh, the UHC and NHIF. Um, so basically, I, I encourage those patients who probably have not been able to access healthcare uh, from this area to visit Makindo Subcounty Hospital. We do assessment and um, 
hopefully they are going to benefit um, from this surgery. Hapa katika hospitali yetu ya Kindu Trauma Center eh, tuna furaha kubwa kwa sababu eh, tumefaulu kufanya eh, upasuaji ambao kwa kawaida ufanyiki katika hospitali za serikali. Uh, mgonjwa alikuja e, goti lake likiwa na shida ya arthritis kiasi cha kwamba zile dawa ambazo daktari wanatumia kwa kawaida hazingeweza kumsaidia kwa hivyo tukawa na fursa ya kutoa lile goti e, ambalo ni la kawaida ambalo liliumbwa na Mungu but, lakini liko na matatizo e, tukafanya total knee replacement e, ambapo kwa lugha ya kitaalamu e, tunaweka an artificial prosthesis E, goti lingine ambalo limetengenezwa kwa chuma e, aina ya titanium e, na mgonjwa tayari ameshafanyiwa upasuaji ule e, na ameanza physiotherapy na kwa sasa e, hata ameanza kutembea kwa hivyo hii ni operesheni ambayo itasaidia e, watu wengi wa makueni ambao wako na severe arthritis ya goti e, na vile vile hata wakazi wengine e, wa sehemu tofauti tofauti za nchi yetu ya Kenya E, kwa sababu e, hii trauma center e, kwa sababu iko kwa highway inafaa kusaidia wakenya wote na si watu wa makueni peke yake huu ni upasuaji ambao kwa kawaida hospitali zile za kibinafsi e, mgonjwa anaweza tumia e, karibu 1700 e, kama ni zile e, hospitali za kibinafsi ambazo si gali sana lakini zile ambazo ni gali hata mgonjwa anaweza tumia milioni moja e, na nusu kwa upasuaji wa aina hii. Kwa wagonjwa ambao wamefikisha miaka 65 na kupanda kama huyu mgonjwa ambaye alifanyiwa operesheni, basi yeye anahitaji tu kuonyesha kitambulisho chake e, kuonekana kwamba ni mkaazi wa makueni. Na mkazi wa makueni hapa imaanishi kwamba e, ni mkamba. Inamaanisha amekuwa sehemu hii kwa muda wa miezi sita mfululizo. Kwa hivyo hata kama ni wa kabila ingine lakini amekuwa katika gatuzi la makueni kwa miezi sita kuendelea basi tunamchukulia kuwa mkaaji ama mkazi wa sehemu hili la makuu. Ugonjwa ambao tunaongea juu yake hapa ni mama yangu mzazi. Na hapo mbeleni alikuwa na shita ya magoti, nilikuwa nakimbia nyumbani naenda naangalia, ananiambia namo na magoti. E, najaribu kumtibu hapa na pale. So mwishoni nimekuja kupata hii ni chronic arthritis na ikakuwa imeenda zaidi na niweza kumleta mara kadhaa hospitali tukaangalia but mwishowe nikaona asanjeni wangu uh, dr James Mwoki na tukaongea na ye uh, tukashauriana kwamba anahitaji toto uh, if uh, toto need joint replacement kwa hivyo tulichukua hatua na tukatafuta namna tukapata chuma na tukakuja tuka replace ile knee joint na nashukuru sana kwamba the operation was very successful now she is walking she is very happy she is going back to her course kwa hivyo ningependa kushukuru madaktari wale wengine tulikuwa pamoja kwa kazi nzuri uh, uh, this being one of the first operations in Makueni county uh, i think is a milestone and is a plus to the health in Makueni mimi ndio mkupwa wa ward ya female surgical na rea aliraso hapa kitu last week alikuwa na maumivu sana hako anaweza kutembea lakini the after the operation aliweza kudumiwa sasa hivi anatembea vizuri hakuna maumivu mingi na tunaendelea vizuri na mimi naona daktari amefanya kazi yake mzuri na timu yangu yote tumeufanyia kazi yote mzuri sana na nashukuru Mungu Reporting for the Kenya Digital News my name is John Matava